Good day guys, Austin here and in this tutorial today I'm going to show you how to set up Neo Geo. Right, before we get stuck into this, there is a thousand different ways we can emulate Neo Geo. There's loads of different emulators, loads of different kind of ways of loading it up. In this instance, we're going to load it up through MAME. Okay, so if you haven't got MAME already set up, which you should have, because it's one of the core systems on your system, and if you've been following my guides, I'll show you exactly how to do it then we can't progress any further so if you haven't follow this link and follow the tutorial that's in that link and then you can get up to the stage now where we can join our version of the Neo Geo installation okay if you have got it my apologies I just had to get out of the way okay let's crack on as I said we're going to use MAME for running Neo Geo not only is it in my personal preference uh, the best one out there for Neo Geo but it also looks good as well which is more important it's got more of a retro feel if you set it up the way I set it up in my guide that is okay so we've got everything um, good to go let's crack on first off take yourself into the description below in that description below there will be a mega link click on the mega link go to it there'll be a folder or a file download that it should end up on your desktop it should look something like this it's a seven zip file which means it's been compressed uh, what you need to do is obviously uncompress it or decompress whatever you call it and the way I do it is right click I've got a seven zip program already installed and then extract here I'm not gonna do that now because I've already done it save time and this is what should be in your folder okay you've got a readme file make sure you do the readme or read the readme whatever you, it is you do there's valid information in there um, a file to say who it came from i.e. me <laughs> and more importantly the two file or, or two folders that we're going to be using today okay already I can see I made an error my bad guys but we're going to fix that now okay first thing to do with the installation then <laughs> good start is take away the extra A because of I can't spell so instead of databases, make sure you take away the A so it just says databases. Now, hopefully <laughs> everything should work. Okay, next stage, go to your installation of Hyperspin. So in my case, it's in my D drive, in my Hyperspin folder, and there we go, the root of our Hyperspin folder. In the Hyperspin folder, there are already two folders which match the ones that we've uncompressed. So we've got databases and we have media. What I want to do is merge the ones that we've just uncompressed with the ones that's already in the Hyperspin folder. So highlight them, drag them over, let them run free, and after a while it should say, would you like to overwrite all these files? In that instance, click yes. Replace all the files and destination. There we go, and that's all done. Okay, with the files and the folders that I've just given you, is all the databases, not only for the actual system, but for the genres within the system. Also included is all the cart art, all the box art, all the wheel art, themes, uh, the fades and the bezels and a few extras that you will need to be able to run uh, Neo Geo to its full capacity. <laughs> um, we've just basically installed that in one fail swoop by doing the drag and drop method because I've took the time to do it for you. Okay, so we don't no, no longer need this, so let's get rid of it take ourselves back to our hyperspin setup now what we need to do is actually set it all up so open up hyperlaunch hq takes a while okay here's hyperlaunch hq now as you can see on the left hand pane it's not just called neo geo it's called snk neo geo the naming is well it has to be perfect to be honest um, as I said I've given you everything you need to run it now what we need to do is tell it how to run it so first off select the SNK, SNK Neo Geo on the left hand pane then take yourself up to the emulators tab at the top on the ROM paths you don't need any basically well basically you don't need any ROMs for Neo Geo if you've already got MAME installed all the ROMs that are in Neo Geo are actually in MAME so there's no need to download anything extra for it so easiest thing, I know it sounds too simple but it does actually work take yourself to your main folder or your main ROMs or games the ones that you actually use to set up main so in my instance it's in my P drive, in my ROMs I then look for my main setup 
Where are you, main, 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 main? There we go. So in my instance, I'm using main 0.153. I've got all the CHDs and the ROMs, but I believe you don't need any CHDs for this. It should all just be uh, ROMs. It takes a while for it to do because there's that many games in that folder. Okay, once it's selected, I then click OK, and there we go. I've now basically selected all the games in my main folder. So all the games that I run when I'm playing main, I've just selected that. Okay, enough waffling, default emulator. As we've already talked about, we want to use main. So in order for this to run, we already need main set up, but we've already covered that at the beginning of this, main, at the beginning of this video. If you're not up to that stage, then I suggest you get to that stage. Okay, so that's that done. We've got main running, and we've got the ROMs put in there. Um, I don't think we need to tell it much about the seven zips because I believe the already standard are seven zips. But we'll have a play after our test just to make sure it works. Um, I'm not going to play any more with any of this yet. I just want to make sure that this is actually working. So first off. We've set the ROMs, we've set the emulator. I'm going to take myself over to the games. We've already given it a database, so it should be able to find everything. There we go. As you can see, it's found everything in all these games in our main folder. So you don't actually need to download any extra ROMs to run Neo Geo. If you've got main, you've already got them. So I'm going to click on one. What's a good one? Metal Slug's easy, good. Click on one of these. Now, to obviously, I press the blue one to audit. I've selected the game. Now I'll press the little rocket and that should launch the game. As I've shown you, I've already given you the fade and everything that you need. Looks all nice. Hopefully, by the gods of Maine, we now have the game. Yes! And there we go. It takes a second for the Neo Geo to kick in. So exciting. <laughs> Metal Slug 2! Two. There you go! <laughs> How easy is that? You don't need to fuck around. Basically, I've just given you all the art and everything that you need for it. Okay, so we've got all that sorted. Um, the games are running, everything's cool. Um, if you want to enable, I've given you bezels, so if you want your bezels enabled, all you need to do is take yourself over to the settings tab here, take yourself over to the bezel tab within the bezels tab if that makes sense, go over here and click true. That's to enable your bezels in game. Personal preference, have a play around with them, see what suits you. I've included one in there with you I think, well I've better out of them. Also, if you want to try anybody else's, look on, you know, the forums or whatever. There's thousands of downloads for bezels and things like that. Just suit the one that, you know, try the one that looks good for you. Uh, I'll try the one that I give you, this one I use. Um, okay, so now we know that Neo Geo is working. We've, we've told Hyperlaunch that this is how we want it, and we've tested it, and it works it well. Now what we need to do is make it work in Hyperspin. So, if we left it as it is, it probably would work, but sometimes there's games missing, games named differently and all that kind of stuff, so I just want to confirm it. So we're going to set it up properly in Hyper HQ, which is basically the thing that controls the front end of Hyperspin. This controls all the media and art and basically marries it up with the actual games that you are launching. So let's set it up properly. First off, load up Hyper HQ, that brings you this. Go to Wheel Settings tab choose a wheel, you need to scroll down to SNK Neo Geo, the one that we're setting up, and it open, it will open something like this. First off, you need it to marry exactly the same as this, so if it doesn't, pause it and check all the settings that I've got checked here. Okay, now you've got to that stage, click on the ROM folder here, now find the games again, where, well, basically the ones that you just set up in Hyper Launch HQ. So again, I'm going for my main setup, so I click on my P drive, my ROM folder within there. Then I'm looking for my main setup. Come on, main, where are you? There we go. Probably take a while again, because there's that many games inside of it. Come on. Oh, it's killing me slowly, come on. Jesus wept.
Come on. There we go, finally. Now it's found all the games inside there, so now I can click OK. And extensions, exactly the same process again. I know these are 7 zipped or compressed, so I'm going to put 7z. I'm going to put comma, ra, and zip. Again, these should be the same. I think they're all zips anyway that come with MAME. But just to confirm, go to your folder, have a look at your ROMs, and see what the extensions are on the end of the file. In other words, you should have the title of the file, then a dot, and then three letters after it. Wherever those three letters are, you need to involve them all into these extensions. You put each one in with a comma after it, no space, the next extension, comma, and blah de blah. They may only have one type of file in there, you may have a thousand. Just put them all in and it will find them all, basically. Okay, so we've got that, then go over to the wheel. The way I've got it set up, I've got box art and cart art, so I don't want it to see the wheel once it settles. I want to bring this up to 400, because that's the way I like it. I want to uh, change this to vertical, because that's the way I like it. Again, these are all personal preferences. Okay, navigation and themes. I want it to load ROMs only. I also want it to load the themes only. Oh, sorry, wheels only. Um, roll return to last game each time I join that system and I want to remove text info uh, video leave that as it is if it's not working then set it to wherever your videos are for the system but if it is leave it in fact um, oh it already set it up anyway basically what we're going to do is we're going to set it to main because we should already have those downloaded anyway save us downloading more videos it saves space on your hard drive um, okay, so in my case it will be hyperspin media main video and then just click OK. Okay, there we go. So now we should use the actual main videos instead of the Neo Geo videos, therefore saving space on my hard drive basically. Because these games are already included in MAME, so why not just use the same videos? Always learning, always learning in these videos, aren't we? <laughs> Okay, so sounds, I hate the game sounds to take them off, if you want to. I hate it, I just like the little click, so I'm going to keep the clicks on. And special art, if you've got a 360 pad, follow what I'm doing. If you haven't got a 360 pad and you're running this through your, I don't know, your cabinet or something else, leave it as it is, because it won't make sense. But, if you have got a 360 pad, basically uncheck all of these that I'm unchecking, so only the first one on B, artwork B is enabled. Then, follow my Q. If you don't know what I'm doing here, basically look at my previous videos, I explain it all in detail. I'm not going to do this with every video. <laughs> so 500, 384, I want that to be 1, I want that to be 1, I want it to be up for 3 seconds and then when it goes away I want it to be gone for 3 seconds. I need to make sure this is on fade and that one's on none. Okay, now everything in here should be working. Everything's configured, everything in Hyperlaunch HQ is configured, everything in Hyperspin on Hyper HQ is configured, everything is done. Oh my god, that's amazing. So now, in theory, I should be able to click on Hyperspin, go to Neo Geo, you should have uh, cart art, should have box art, should have videos, should be able to click on it, and everything should work perfectly. We fade, and if I want to, I can go and switch on bezels because I've got them also. Oh, we are flying today. Okay, launch it. Let's find where we are, and by the gods of Neo Geo, please bless us with your lovely art. Uh, where's Neo Geo? There we are. Okay, so there's the overall theme. As you can see, you've got the buttons at the bottom. Let's load into it. We've got our wheel out there. Let's see what else we've got going on. And there we go. We've got our box art and our cart art with our videos. The only thing left to do is to change the text in the left hand side under the TV to show the year, the make and the name of the game. Let me exit out of here so you can hear what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, the only thing left to do is the name basically of the game, the year and the make. As you can see to the left of the video, it looks a bit weird. All you need to do is follow my tips and tricks video and that will show you how to match it perfectly to whatever theme you want in whatever style you want and basically configure it to make it look however you want. Okay, that is Neo Geo set up ready and rolling, not only working but looking shit hot as well. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you've got any 
uh, worries, woes, questions, comments, or if you just like it, please let me know. Just write in the comments, uh, PM me on Hyperspin, open the thread up for Hyperspin, I don't care. Just, you know, let me know what's going on, what you want, what's next, blah de blah, anything that could help others get involved. You know, at the end of the day, I'm trying to save you money. There's people out there ripping you off, selling these configured hard drives, these configured systems, whatever. They're all dog shit. Honest to God, trust me. The drives are dog shit. They look like shit when you load them up. You have people around, they're going to be playing your games, and it's like, what is this dog shit? It doesn't work for a start, and it looks like shit. Okay, enough rambling. Um, <laughs> that's Neo Geo for you. You have a good day, and Godspeed. Laters.